everybody thanks for stopping by my channel today I'm going to be painting for you my rendition of the poppy flower I'm going to be painting it on this lovely candle vase or flower vase whatever you want to use it for I will be using a number 12 flat brush a one half a plaid one stroke scruffy brush and a quarter inch scruffy as well as a fine spotter mini detailer brush it's a three slash zero spotter by Princeton and the paint I'm using is engine red school bus yellow licorice burnt umber Thicket and wicker white. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. I am going to do the open poppy with a mixture of the engine red, the burnt umber, and then I'm just touching a little bit into the wicker white on the side of the brown just trying to give me the best chance of getting the flower to be opaque which like I said with painting on glass sometimes depending on the color of paint you're using will determine whether or not it comes out very opaque or not and with red you would think that would be but it's not the case Definitely not. But I'm just doing a, a trying to spread it out here a little bit, but just kind of a wiggle pattern with this. It's not a very detail. I'm just putting my brush down and just kind of wiggling it a little bit, and I continue to turn the vase as I'm working. Now again, if you feel like it's not opaque enough, it's just amazing how some colors are just very, you know, they really have a lot of body to them and then others are really translucent. But I'm just going to keep going around and doing these, just kind of wiggling as I go. And then coming back into the center and then doing the same over here coming back in and again you can hit it with a dryer if you want if you feel like you need to go back over it again you can do that as well you know, make it more opaque And I'm just kind of going up and then pulling back. Just going up around. But I want to get more of that red on here. And just kind of filling it in a little bit. Because the more opaque you get it, the more durable the paint will be. When you're doing it on something like this, it may not be quite as important as opposed to a glass that you're using all the time so keep that in mind but I still like the coverage I really do so I'm just going to go back in here and kind of fill it in a little bit this isn't my typical way of doing this but for the fact that I want it to be more opaque that's why I'm doing it this way Again, you, like I said, you could hit it with a hair dryer and then go back over it if you wanted to. You definitely, if you're doing it on paper and then you're doing it on the glass, there is a definite difference. 
and you just need to learn that that is going to be what happens and just understand there is a difference now I'm just going to be doing this one is going to be you know, just kind of when it's partially opened and just kind of going around once again I'm trying to get it to be more opaque If you can hear my dog, she's down here snoring. It's like, oh, move on over, girl. Here I come. And we're just going to wiggle it like that. Just come in here. Like I said, I just want it to be a rough edged flower. I don't want it to be where it's uh, straight lined at all. And then my final bud that I'm going to do is basically, it's just going to be, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting my hand in the way. I'm going to wiggle it and just give it a rough edge to it. it up and then bring it down because it is going to be more of a just a partially open bud like that all right the next step is to put my half an inch uh, scruffy into the black or the, the licorice and I'm just going to quickly pounce in a center. Now this one we're going to make it look like it's it's partially opened as opposed to the other one that is not. This this one is not actually we're not even pretending that it's open. Now I'm going to take my cute little brush like that and just very quickly go through and put in some little detail around the center. And just keep doing it. These little slashes. I'm just kind of swirl them around. They can come up into the center even. It's fine. Okay. And then I'm going to come back over here and do it to this one. Just do the, doing the same thing. Just little swirlies. And do light. You can fill them in a little bit if you want. I like them. It's very different. Then I'm going to take this very same brush, dip it into the school bus yellow, and then I'm just going to do a little swirly in the center. Not too much, but just a little bit. And that's going to be my center. Very easy, right? Very easy. Alright, so then we're moving on, and we're going to start putting in some greenery. And with this, I'm using the thicket, a little bit of the uh, Bricker White, and the School Bus. Typically, what you're going to see when you do Poppy is more of a 
kind of a long, long, tall grass kind of a design. But when we're doing it on a vase like this, of course you're not going to have a whole lot of room to do that with. Okay, let's see if I can get this to I'm sorry, scan out a little bit here. Alright, so if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just taking the brush. Again, just bring it through here. I want it to be a little bit fuller. And because we're working with a vase, as I mentioned, it's not going to be as prominent as if I were doing it on a piece of paper or, you know, canvas or something like that. Okay, just keep that in mind. And then I will come over here and make it connect. And on this one, I'm going to so make sure these are kind of smashed down. Give me more of a crisper edge to it. I'm going to pull that in like that. I'm just going to fill it in a little bit more. Okay, I am on there. Again, am I on the screen even? I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I am. And I'm just going to work it a little bit because I want it to be where it can be seen. Now, if you know, I could do something in the center of it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it like this where you can't, as if you can't see anything in it. Alright, if that makes sense, how like here could I possibly done something a little bit more oh, obvious you know, where you could see the center a little bit. This one I'm just going to attach it kind of like that. And I'm going to kind of run this leaf up here again they're going to be tall just like that, put the green on the right side something I always have to try to remember like it's a big tall just run it up here from down here I guess then you can work it a little bit if you want and I can even bring a piece over here if I wanted to I'm going to bring it out. Just have some fun with it. Yeah, oops. And you can, if you want, kind of turn it down. A lot of times they'll have, you know, have that where they're, they turn. Like that. No mess that up now. Alright, you get the gist. I mean it's kind of, again it's not not like it would be if you were doing it on a canvas. Then I'm going to do another thing where I run just some other little fillers in here. I want to flatten my brush out a little bit more. It gets into the uh, paint and kind of loses its shape so I like crisper edges. I do the same here, kind of bring it out and you'll see what I'm going to do with it here in a second. And I want to do another one that comes out this way. Again it's just, just fillers, just fillers. So then I go take my brush on the chisel edge and I just am making, I'm just pulling, pulling it towards the stem. And I'll just keep doing that here, pulling it towards the stem, going down. 
Then I can go back over it if I feel the need. Yeah, just grab some of the red. When you're doing wet on wet, don't be surprised if you pull in some of the color when you're going over it. And you can go back down the stem if you want to freshen that up, but I don't feel the need to do that right now. So I'm just going to come back over here and start on this side. And I'm just pull it, tapping and pulling it towards the, towards the stem. So I'm just on the chisel edge, just pulling it towards the stem. And then going like that. And you know, if you want to load your brush more frequently, do so. If you want to go back over it and make sure it's crisp, you can do that. And then I'll come down here, do the same down here. Again, you can just see they're nice fillers. Give your painting a little more interest. Oops, let's go back the other way. All right. I like to go back over it. You can even turn your brush if you wanted, like this, to give some more color into it. Yeah, depending on how you're leading with your brush will depend on what color comes out first or what actually shows up prominently in your design. And then I'm going to go over here and do the same over here. And there's different you know, different leaves that you could use. I just thought of this one. I thought it was cute. You just go back over it if you want. You can maybe add some more. Like that. I'm sorry, hopefully I'm getting on there. When I'm working with a big vase, it's kind of hard. Alright, then you can also, if you feel like you don't have enough greenery, which many of you know that I really like leaves. Oops, wrong way again. Alright, so I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to put in my nice little leaf here. And see how nicely, you know, this co these colors cover. Whereas I had a heck of a time with the coverage on the other ones. That's what what I mean by it just depends on which shade you're using as to how the paint you know how it again expect that when you're painting wet on wet you are going to pull up some of the paint from underneath. That is going to happen. It's like a guarantee. I'm trying to not pull up too much of it. But like I said, you get the gist. It's and like I said, it's definitely perfectly fine to give some drying time. You, know, you don't have to paint everything all at one time. You definitely feel free to give it a breather or hit it with a hair dryer whatever you feel you need to do if you're picking up too much of the and like I said with this I can't I'm trying to be light about it and just kind of touch it so that I'm not pulling up too much of it just so I can show you yeah, it's not the not the best leaf I've ever painted. Alright, 
try to cover it up a little bit here. And then come back in here. Paint's getting a little gloppy. Like that. And then I'm going to scrape a little bit off it off. And then just do a little crisper kind of pull in there. Now, one other thing that you can do is to take the little mini, uh, the quarter inch scruffy, and this might really pull some of the paint, but I'm just going to kind of hit it just sporadically, just to, again, give it, you know, a nicer look, I think. Tapping it in, just kind of lightly. It's almost like, kind of like you got some baby breath in there, maybe. And you don't have to do it with white. You could do it with gold. Um, you vary it out a little bit. All right. So there you have it. Again, I I think it's you know very pretty. The hardest part is like I said, getting the the red to be opaque and making you know being able to make nice strokes with that. Uh, but I think it turned out pretty, just the same. You could even run this down the stem, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to leave it as is. And I hope you like it. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. You'll be notified whenever I post something new. If you would kindly, at the end of this video, there's a share button underneath. Hit that share button. Share my video on all your social media as well as with your family and friends. I would certainly appreciate it. And until the next video... I will see you then. You have a good one.